But niggas look at white people like the authority and like niggas like a threat. You feel me? So when they go to Vlad and no jumper, anything them white boys ask is a go. They gonna feel like, oh, but maybe they didn't know no better. They not from the culture. White boys can ask these niggas whatever. What about the other one? What's his name? Bootleg Kid. Bootleg Kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Same thing. White boys can ask niggas whatever. Niggas are answering. But let me. I ask was the hurt behind question. a few interviews they got that I felt like I was supposed to got. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Man. Yeah, it is what it is, man. man. You know, I, you know, you, you, you know, I gotta ask you this because you live by that code, mm-hmm. man. Boosie got mad at at, at the boy Kodak yeah. behind behind him doing a song with six six nine six mm-hmm. nine yeah. Takashi, mm-hmm. but it. The million dollar thing, it, it complicated things. He he went on and got that meal ticket. I mean, what do you do in that situation? I get my million. Bro, I ain't told on nobody. That's like they say, <laughs> look, look. This is they say, Miss Jamaica been snitching. Over, right? They the flock together. Oh, no, no, check this out, though. Let's say they say, Miss Jamaica been, okay. been, been snitching. Okay. Miss Jamaica want to do a song with me. Okay. Shit, I ain't told on nobody. My name no no document, no documents. I have nothing to do with nothing. This is business. I'm getting my million. You feel me? Like you walking away with. I'm getting my bro. This is one thing, Cass. First of all, Boosie, you too old to be worried about them young niggas got going on anyway, my nigga. You too old, and he got a pistol case. From being on uh, from being on Instagram Live, Boosie should probably sit his ass down right now. People Boosie been to grow that up. Lately. Yeah, Boosie looking like a child. He going out like a gangster no more. He's starting to look like a childish nigga. You all in these young cats business. You go live way too much, my nigga. This nigga live five, six times a day. Now do your business. If that's how you you know, handling things, do it. But Boosie's still trying to be a gangster. gangster. Bro, you're 40 plus years old, bro. It's time to sit down. You got kids out here, my nigga. Quit worrying about being this super thugged out street nigga. God bless your bitch ass. And let you make it off death row, right or wrong. <laughs> God, real. Right, right. That's God real. took you off lie. death row, I, nigga. I, and you out here still playing like this, nigga. Go sit down, Boosie. We rock with you. We fuck with let Boosie. Let me tell you something, man. But I wanna, I wanna say this too. Dude. I don't know if Rain told you this yesterday. But you know, uh, uh, Boosie wanna be taking off Mo3 music. He don't wanna be on Mo3 music no more. Because of guys. Because of Young Blue and the Gazi yeah. situation. You know what I mean? That's to me, that's some. I'm he didn't like, tell us that he wanted to be taken off. He just said that. Um, what they going? What things. they have going on is messing up his stuff. Yeah, but, but what it exactly what's messing up exactly what it is is the fact that now Boosie is saying I don't want to be on nothing involved with Empire. It ain't got nothing, it's not necessarily Mo Three. It's Empire. Mm. Really? So now uh, Boosie is on a record or two on a new Mo Three album, mm. and then they got to take him off. I'm guessing after already fighting for the album. Remember, Rain was already fighting to get this shit out there. And now we can you just hold it back to hope that, that they get cool one day and yeah. be like, okay, we can put it out now? That, that ain't real, man. With Mo3 being dead like that, me knowing his family trying to eat, you know what I mean? I right. almost definitely be like, you know what? Y'all go ahead and put that out, man. That's that's for my partner legacy. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I mean? Like I said, I can't tell a nigga what to do. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, he ain't, you know what I mean? So, I mean, we rock with Boosie. Dallas got nothing but love for Boosie. Mo3 people love Boosie. You feel me? Mo3 family rock with Boosie. We hoping to have yeah. Boosie at the next Mo3 day. You know what I mean? So... Everybody rock with him, bro, but Boo got to grow up a little bit. I, I tell him, come on my platform, I'm going to tell you, Boosie. Bro, bro it's time to grow up platform. a little bit. You hell on wheels, Yeah, bro. we hell over there, fam. We got to keep on listen, though. Listen, man, listen. I'm, I'm going to tell you, Sko, man. Like, like I, I mean, I see you need, you, I don't know if you've seen the episode where Pippin Ken went off on Vlad because he mentioned, yeah, yeah. you know, he mentioned he mentioned his name to Boosie and, 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 and he was trying to boycott Vlad because of the whole situation of Boosie being locked up. Yeah. It was some crazy, when I was in ATL interviewing him. So, you know, a lot of times people give the journalists the, a, a rough, you know, a rough time. What do you think about like like the Vlads and the no jumpers being that they not, they don't look like us, but they report on us. It's, What's just, up? it's no different from the police. Oh, they, they, I mean, they talk to them just like, think about it. When a white man, I'm gonna say this, man. You know, I'm, this, this is my this is this is my go to scenario right here. If you look out your window, right, and you see a nigga standing next standing next to your truck, you gonna say, "Man, get the pistol, fam." It's a nigga truck. If you look out the window, you see a white man sitting next to your truck. You gonna say, "Man, I think the goddamn police have to run my insurance there." But, but niggas look at white people like the authority and like niggas like a threat. You feel me? So when they go to Vlad and no jumper, anything them white boys ask is a go. They gonna feel like, "Oh, but well, maybe they didn't know no better. They not from the culture." White boys can ask these niggas whatever. What about the other one? What's his name? Bootleg kid. Bootleg kid. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Same thing. White boys can ask niggas whatever. Niggas are answering. But let me. I ask was the hurt behind a few interviews. 
confused they got that I felt like I was supposed to got. White boys. They oh, ran yeah. and ran up ran there right to, right to the white boys. To the white yep. boys they run right to the I white boys no every time. I don't with them, but I'm like, damn, man. man. fuck them white boys, no, I'm dog. I'm talking about the dudes that ran to them. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Fuck them niggas, too. Fuck them niggas and fuck them white boys, bro. At the end of the day, this culture was made for us. We built this shit. And then we got to watch these white boys get all the interviews and shit. We watched 1090 Jake and what he do. Yeah. Nobody ain't doing shit, man. These white boys are running shit right now. Niggas are too afraid to say anything. No Jumper, Adam 22, got a bunch of dirty ass gangbangers that hang around uh, No Jumper all day and they don't mm-hmm. care. They yeah. protect them, they do whatever just because they want clout and views. White boys are running hip hop right now like they've been doing. Man. You feel me? Well, I'm from Dallas where Post Malone run shit. Vanilla Ice Damn. is throwing more records than these niggas out here. White boys are running the, the, the blogging world, bro. Because, like I said, niggas are too afraid to say anything real to white boys. You feel me? Like, far as checking them. Like, nah, man, I'm not saying that shit. Yeah. Don't ask me that shit. But they then, won't even say that. Bro, let, it, let me ask the shit Vlad asked. Man, Boosie better stood up and ended that shit. Nigga, fuck you, red ass nigga. Bro, I'm telling you, bro, something about these niggas and these white boys. I don't know if it's some gay shit going on, some behind the scenes, some That's, Illuminati shit. But when you shit. ask stuff like that, they say, it's just black on black um, hate. We just don't Self-hatred. like us. That's what they say. That's what a lot of people say. We always ask, why is this like how it is? Yeah. And it says, because black doesn't hate on blacks. Yeah, I just a few niggas I don't like, so I understand. Nah. You feel me? Yeah, I'm happy to be honest with you. Only the people I don't like is a few bunch of niggas. You know what I'm talking about? See? Yeah, and the reason I say it is, though, I say it because, see, ain't no white people doing shit to me. No, Besides I try, Look, they robbing me every day, but at least they doing it uh, the corporate way. Yeah. A nigga be done ran up on me and put a pistol on me. No, that's mm-hmm. real. So, that's yeah, real. Yeah, so, man. So, I mean, do you think that when you when you look at how the things lay out, man, like, a lot of time, man, we we got this whole scenario where we could take this thing mm-hmm. and really report real news for our people, yeah. man. It's it's free, it's right here, and these niggas don't even want to run up to it. They run in front of it, yeah. Like they and and I get it, niggas done hurt niggas. I get it, but what about when you see solid ones out here doing good stuff, trying to figure out how to do this whole thing from a right perspective, independently trying to rep our people? It's crazy to me that they can't see that, bro. Nah, I, don't, I mean. You know, that's that's why I be getting on some wild shit online. That's why I just keep it, you know what I mean? Just keep it, my show is fucked up. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, <laughs> my show is fucked up. And I'm going to keep it like that, fam. Because, you know, I, I got to be honest every night. And when I'm lighting that good gas up, you know me, every night, roll that Reggie up. I'm smoking number big Reggie over there. Roll, it, roll the Man. Reggie up. And let's, let's turn up. Let's talk for real. I'm not holding back. I want to ask you about Jamie Foxx, man, because he popped out, you know, man. for that show. For his show, I come thought, on, fam. I've been, I've been worried about Jamie. I wouldn't worry about no, that. No, I nigga, was man. when it happened. Like I'm like, they gonna kill the nigga, yeah, man. Is he yeah. dead? That like, terror Texas ass nigga. I, look, I, I feel like <laughs> we love Jamie Foxx, and he's very talented. <laughs> no, we don't go no, 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 we do. We love Jamie. He can't go nowhere. Man. I want to know was it a game? It was happened? a joke, fam. Y'all didn't see the. It was. A, it was all a scheme. It was a PR stunt. It was great. It was his genius. Whole, you talking his whole sickness, sickness, and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, stop, you, you bro. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. No. The whole, it was a I whole, don't believe that. It was that. a PR stunt. I don't believe that. How the hell you come up with that, man? Because I was hurt, no. man. Hold I mean, on. Before you say ahead, that, ahead, one, thing, one thing I've always growing up, always, they've always told me, older people always say, you don't lie on certain things. Mm-hmm. You don't, don't lie, lie on death, certain things. Sicknesses and death and shit. You don't play but with But you niggas call in sick at work all the time. Come on, now. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.